Hey guys, this is a complicated video to figure out where to put because I forgot that I was going to be making this installment in my series earlier. So I'm going to give it its own number, but realize that this is probably not the place where it's going to go. It just seemed better than putting it as like, I don't know, a half, like four and a half or something. So this video is about consecrating your tools. This is something that some people do before all rituals, even if they have their tools set out all the time and no one touches them, because if they're set out all the time, they can collect mundane energy that you might not really want them to have as people pass by or as the energy is changed from a sacred space to a more mundane place. It's easily done before a ritual. Usually it's done before the casting of the circle and all that after grounding and centering. Usually you, usually I will extend my hands over my tools and say a blessing, uh, asking the negative energy to be expelled and only positive uh, blessed energy to be contained within. I ask the god and goddess um, to bless them and to consecrate them for their holy purpose. This is a re-consecration, if you will. This is just taking any excess energy that has been absorbed into them. This is not sufficient for most people if you've just purchased the tools. The reason I'm bringing it up now is because this is a dedication rite, which for some people is their first ritual, and for others it's they just play an important part in the ritual which i'm going to get to in a minute if it is your first ritual and you've just bought tools for your ritual you will need to purify them before you even begin you probably the easiest way and the most common way is to wait for a full moon and place them in the light of the full moon if you can't do that because you don't live in a place where they're going to be safe all night in the, in the view of the full moon or even for a few hours while you're with them or you can't get to a place where you can they can be in the light of the full moon. There are other ways to do it. You can purify them by the elements. You can put them in water, pass them through incense smoke, uh, depending on what they are. I mean, if it's your book of shadows, you're obviously not going to put it in water. It just You have to kind of play with that and see what's going to work for each tool. But like for an acme, you can put it in some water, pass it through some fire, um, or some sm incense smoke, sprinkle it with earth, or something like that. If you don't want to do either of those methods, you can bury them if you have the means to do so, if it's like an athame. Again, I probably wouldn't bury my Book of Shadows and leave them there for, depending on how their energy feels to you, you can leave them there for a full lunar cycle. Don't forget where they are. Uh, you can leave them there overnight. Whatever. So there are other ways to do it if you um, Google consecrating or purifying to altar tools or something like that. You'll probably find some ways to... Those are the most common. Then before your ritual you're going to go back and re-consecrate them like I just talked about. If this is not your first time working with these tools, which I would hope it's not, although if you've done other rituals you might not have worked with tools, so again. If it's not your first time working with them, what you might still want to do is make a special part of your dedication right to align their energies with you as your new self. You might want to do an, another kind of reconsecration there and use your magical name and talk about how your energy has changed over this past however long you've been studying, how you become a completely new person, and these energies need to be aligned with that. Um, maybe ask your patron god or goddess to bless them too if you've not done that previously. It, it's usually just kind of a special bit in the dedication rite. Some people will do entirely different rites for this after their dedication. I don't know if that's wholly necessary, but if you feel like it's something that you want to do, it's perfectly fine. Or if you get new tools after you've been dedicated and you want to do a special rite to align their energies in that manner, that's fine too. So that's my re that's a really short bit on uh, consecrating and purifying the tools and redoing it and things like that. It's really not that complicated, so I don't feel like I need to go into it too much. But if anyone has any questions, feel free. As usual. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.